So this is the tuning of the monochord as you see from here to the middle and from here from the middle to the other side is symmetrical. First string is the lower octave of C. It can be tuned in C or D as or the whole monochord. Now we will do it in C. This is the the lower octave, which the note of it corresponds to the C number two. It's called C two. It sounds like this. Now it's B. I put the key and I tie it up clockwise. to see almost as I am almost close I find tune with the tuning pearl okay that is 60 C 66 point four hertz exactly on C number two then we have the higher octave which is C4 here I'm a bit higher I have to go down hundred thirty point seven Hertz point eight sorry thirty seven thirty thirty sorry hundred thirty point eight Hertz <laughs> sorry about the confusion exactly C two C four sorry again C four here Those are the overtone Okay You see when the tuner hits the middle green note and it's exactly in zero, then it is tuned. It's normal when the strings are new that the strings go down, the tune goes down. This is normal. Okay, so first we have lower octave, C2, then we have C4, again C4. You can see those are the flat, which are not wounded strings. And then we have the fourth string, which is the second octave. Okay, here a bit higher also, I have to go a bit down. And then adjust. Fine tuning. When the needle stops in the middle, the zero, uh, you see, then it's tuned. Low, high, high, middle. Okay, again we have two more of the higher octave. This is best for precision tuning, very fine. Ok, 
Okay, I go down again. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six already tuned. You see? Then we have the fifth, which is the seventh string from the beginning, but it's the fifth note from C. We go C, D, E, F, G. You see? Five. That means that is the fifth note is the interval of fifth here we put G okay perfect G so these are all the notes that you have in the monochord Lower, medium, higher, and this is the only one that is not C, it's a G, okay? In case that we tune the monochord in D instead of C, we would put all the strings in, in D instead of C, but those that are the thinnest wounded string which now, because it's in C, we tune it in G, they would go in A, okay? Instead of G, we would put them in A. That is, from G, here. But that would be if all the strings would be in, C, in D. Okay? That would be D. But you cannot tune C and D in the same time. You have to tune C or D, okay? To give harmony in the whole instrument. The monochord, it's a... Uh, it's it's a tonal instrument which all the strings are tuned in the same note but we have three notes which just are tuned in an interval that fits nicely harmonious with the fundamental C and that is the G in case that we tune it in C okay G or A in case that we tune it in A. And from those strings we have three. The one, two, three, four, five, six, seven from the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven as well in the other side. And right in the middle of the instrument we have the other note in G as well. You can see it, you can recognize them, you remember, because they are the thinnest wounded strings. When you scratch them with a nail, you can hear this sound. Okay? So you see thick, medium, thin. Also, the sound is sharper. And the flat strings, they don't make any sound because they are fully flat, they, don't, they are not wounded, okay? So hope that this helps and I will meet you soon. Ciao!